Hi everyone, welcome back to Cricket Bat Info. I'm your host Mark, and today we'll be having a look at a brand new Grey Nichols Australia Cricket Bat. This is the Cobra 1000, straight after this. Thanks very much to Chad from the UK. He's actually purchased a few bats that he sent through me so I can do the reviews, and I really, really appreciate that. So thank you very much, Chad. This is the Grey Nichols Cobra. Brand new bat for the Australian 21-22 season. Have a look at it. So it's fairly traditional in the color scheme. It's got black and white. It's fairly flat through here on the red. This is a 1000 edition, superior grade two uh, English Willow ready play. So it's got the extra tech on already, but it's actually a quite a nice looking bat. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven grains. Heartwood down the right hand as outside edge. Few little pin knots or something coming through there. You know, what do you expect for this? This is 499 Australian dollars retail. So really good value. And that's the profile. It's very low. So you can see here, the profile is pretty much in a mid-low position. No real extension up through to the high although there's you know quite a high spine that edge is dipping down straight away toe looks fairly thick and looking at it this way one of the features of this year's 21-22 season for grey nickels is concaving his back that's the stickers that fluorescent orange they learnt from last year's mistake and put a sticker down at the toe. Nice little grey nickel sticker there. You got the A, Class A Willow. Cobra written down here. Down here you've got Cobra designed by grey nickels in Australia. And once again the grey nickels over the matte red finish with the black and white highlights and you've got the Australian made sticker here. This is interesting. You've got that um, latex grip here, which they do. Super grip or whatever it's called. It's so thin. And underneath, you can actually see that they're doing the tape binding rather than the twine binding, which is typical of Australian GM. And the other interesting feature about this year's Cobra, which you've probably read about, but if you haven't, I'll introduce you to it. We're definitely looking at five cork inserts which is like a CA and what that does is it allows more flex in the handle. So if you buy one of these, regardless of whatever the performance is, you're going to have a lot more feel. You're going to get that whip through the handle a lot early in the life of the cricket bat. Potential drawback of that is because of you've got the uh, tape binding is this may delaminate. Generally when they use cork, Good quality cork with glue it shouldn't lead to the delamination as much as the rubber so GN normally use the black rubber and I have heard from repairers who have had issues with well used grey nickels cricket bats with this tape binding it has actually delaminated from the inserts and sort of fanned out which just means that you've got to put the glue in or replace the whole handle altogether the handle itself really oval I do like it the feel feels really nice and semi-oval at the top. So this is definitely for somebody who's fairly correct, who's going to be on the front foot, and you've got all that meat in the lower section of the bat, hopefully with some balance. Uh, Grey Nichols persist with this stamped paint rubbish that always comes off, and you'll see in the other bats it doesn't always look perfect. But yeah, I'd, look, it's, it's a nice new fresh shape for 21, 22, and we need something fresh, don't we? So, yeah, let's do the measurement straight away. Move in here at the shoulder. The shoulder does look quite thick, but it is narrowed down here at the spine. Very typical of grey nickels, and they really take that wood out down here to try and maximise the amount of wood that's in the shape. Come down here, and we've got 15 millimetres at the edge, centre of the spine, 36.6. That's quite good, actually. It just doesn't have that spine that carries all the way through, which sort of exaggerates that. 
that thickness there. We'll do the edge straight away, which is that mid-low to low position. 39.6, we'll measure the toe at the edge, 22, and that spine is sort of creeping, sort of just ending just before the end of the toe, so it's actually quite thick down there, 28 millimeters. We'll measure the spine straight away, it does look like they've got a lot of spine left in there. Mm, that's actually quite big, okay, it says 69. Yeah, I'm not believing that, let's put it through the gauge oh goodness it actually is quite big it's actually struggling to get through the gauge so that is a 69 70 millimeter spine down in that mid low position you can see the wood that's been taken out towards the edges obviously it's not going to fill it there do you really need all that wood at the edges so one thing that has been bothering me a little bit and i'll just try and zoom this in is the quality of the finish on this bat uh, hopefully you can see it the little lines that are up on here and also clearly visible to the eye here the finishing on this bat and I can even see it under the sticker it's a bit rough uh, and it's not something I normally associate with grey nickels so a little bit of feedback to the factory there um, I can see it under these lights they're obviously you know for photography and that and I have dimmed them down since I've made a few changes but uh, yeah, the, the finishing of this is not quite up to your normal standards. This is a ready play grey nickels bat and the type of buyer who's going to get this is not worried about those type of things. So I'll comment on it a little bit more if we get to the higher grade bats and we still see it. Let's measure the width and it is fine. So there's no width issues there. It's actually quite a big bat. And written on the handle here, I can see 2.8. Let's feel what it actually weighs in the hands. So, picking this up, taking my natural stance. Yeah, it's feeling 2.8. It's not, it's not feeling any lighter. Remember, all that weight is down towards the bottom of the bat. And you've got all that weight that's actually taken out at the handle. And, that, and that's one of the tricks that Grey Nickels use. And I'm going to call it a trick. Because when you actually use tape instead of binding and all the glues that are involved in that, you're going to reduce the weight by probably nearly an ounce, 0.7. Itself being latex, it's actually a lot lighter. So you've got another nearly half an ounce there, probably a bit more. So you're taking one and a half ounces out um, and being able to put that into the bat. So if this had a normal binding, normal grip, looking at a 2.9, and that would be still a fairly big bat for its size. So we'll weigh the bat now. And what does it actually weigh? 292. Definitely says 28 on the handle, but it weighs 29.2. Let's have a look at the face camber, because I didn't even mention that. And we're looking at just under a 5mm camber. We're looking at about 4mm on the camber. Maybe 4.5. So it's very much like a, a Gunner Moore camber. And obviously, as I showed you before, that really high spine. So it's really going to give you value for shots. And uh, I guess it's going to strike like a cobra. Let's get straight into hitting it with a mallet. Here we go. We'll start at the toe. And it's going already in a low position. Really going mid-low. It's got something there in the mid, and it's already starting to peter out in a mid-high, and nothing up high. So that pretty much follows the, the profile. I don't mind it. Colour scheme, I mean immediately when I, when I saw the pictures, I thought about the very early kabooms and all that bright orange. Actually in the flesh, it does actually look nice. $500. Now in this market, this is actually really good value. So that is the Cobra, 20 one twenty-two Australian cricket season if we even actually get to play it sending out all my thoughts to those people in New South Wales and maybe by this time Queensland and Victoria and even here in South Australia we may not even get on to play cricket and um, wishing you the best for your families because 
You know, cricket's not everything in life. I guess for us, it's pretty important. So that is the Grey Nichols Cobra. If you like what I do, consider subscribing. If you don't, that's your choice. And I'm not necessarily going to maintain a one video per week strategy. That The channel is just not really growing. It's sort of stagnating at about under a thousand views for a week. And I think that's a lot to do with the way things are at the moment. Definitely affecting everybody's families and, and our motivation to go out and play cricket no doubt so when you do see videos released i'll main make sure that they're the best quality i can do and that's all i can really do for you so we'll see you on the next video it's the gray nickels cobra